Welcome to another how-to video from Saturn Alliance on Small Business Server 2003. This video will look at the creation of a network user. To do this we basically have to log on to the console as an administrator, run start and then select server management. Once server management runs we can then select the option to create users. So we select the user option here and it'll bring up a list of all the users that are on our network. By default, Small Business Server has administrator and guest created with guest being disabled. I've already created a login for myself, but if I want to create an additional one, I simply select the option over here, add user. When I select this option, it will run the add user wizard. The first screen shows me exactly what the wizard's going to do, create the account, set up a mailbox and so on. I hit next to continue. I enter the first name of the user of my network, the surname and their login. This is what they'll type to log into the workstation. I hit next. I select a password for that user and normally leave the option set as default so that they can change their password at any time. I hit next. Now I can choose from a number of templates. These templates come default with Windows Small Business Server 2003. As you can see, there is a user template, a mobile user template, power user and administrator. In this case, I'm just going to set this user up as a standard user. You'll also notice here that I can add a template. I can also select the default settings when I run through the wizard and I can choose not to use a template. But by default, I'm going to use a standard user template. I go next. I can choose to also set up a computer at the same time, but in this case I'm not going to do that. All I want to do is create a user. So I select next. I now get a summary of exactly what the wizard is going to perform. Uh, again, I can copy this, paste it, and I can email or print it. I select finish, and the wizard will now initiate and create an additional user on my small business server. Upon completion, I'll be able to use this user to log in to workstations that have already been joined to the Small Business Server domain. Okay, our wizard is now complete. We close the wizard. In a minute, the screen will refresh and we'll see our new user selected here. I want to work on this user and select any low level settings. I can just double click on the user and you'll see I get the normal Active Directory detailed information about the user. In this case I don't need to make any changes so I'll cancel it. If I need to work on this user, for example to change their password, I select the user and then you can see over here there are options to change the password, rename the user and so forth. Again, all done through the Small Business Server Wizards. So if I now swap across to my workstation I should now be able to log in as that user to a workstation that is already part of my small business server domain. Once I've put the username and password, I'm able to successfully log in. The Windows Small Business Server batch file will run and configure my user for this workstation. In this case, the user is not an administrator of this machine, so it can't set up any applications. I choose not to show this dialog again and let the logon process continue. As you can see, I've now successfully created a user, John Doe, and logged in to a workstation on my small business server.